things that people were questioning like did you know it was gonna happen um, things he did to surprise me and things I noticed like throughout time so did I know it was gonna happen so basically as I said we had been dating for six years so it was always on my mind I mean like if we if it was a birthday or if it was a trip or something I was always a little bit in the back of my head like "Ooh, is he gonna propose but I never really thought it was gonna happen like all, all those experiences of going on a vacation or a birthday there was never a time where I was like oh my gosh it's gonna happen today but it was always just there like in the back of my head and I was always wondering is it gonna happen but in the moment of that proposal no I had no idea because he did such a good job of like making noise in the closet and he he would make like little comments like oh yeah I'll give you a medium gift too and things like that so it's always on my mind I mean we had been dating for six years we knew we were gonna get married we knew we were gonna like get engaged and everything but in the actual moment I had no idea and that's what made it so special because I had always said to him in the past like you're never gonna be able to surprise me I'm just so nosy and stubborn that I would always tell him like you're never gonna be able to surprise me I'm gonna know and he, he that kind of like fueled his fire and made sh made it so he would make sure to surprise me which he did so did I know in the moment? No. Is it always, was it always on my mind? Cause we had been dating for six years. Yes. But in the moment I had no idea. So I did mention a few of the things he did to make sure it was a surprise. But, um, one of the biggest things was he made noise in the closet that I heard. And he said he did intentionally to steer me off the road of thinking if we were going to get engaged or not. And he said he did that on purpose. I said to him, I was like, oh, for a split second, I thought maybe he's going to propose. But then I heard you making lots of noise in the closet. So I was like, oh, he's just grabbing that big snow remover thing. And he literally said he did that on purpose. And he said he had been planning that for a while that he knew he's like, I have to get her something big that I can put in the closet, something that she knows she's getting, but that like, it's just, like he just knew he's like okay i'm gonna get this thing for her that's big that's in the closet and that's what i'm gonna give her on christmas eve as her gift and say oh i need to get it out of the closet because it's big and bulky so he did a really good job with that one because it definitely worked and made it so it was a surprise but a few things that i said like throughout the day that i noticed looking back on the day uh, one thing is he was really adamant about our living room floor being cleared off He was really subtle about it, but looking back. I was like wow He kept saying like oh, let's clean this up. Oh, we should move this stuff Oh, is it clean in there and he kept saying those type of things. So that was one really funny thing um, Another thing is I had slowly been like growing my nails out and making sure they were nice just in case it ever happened that I could like file them and paint them really quickly for a picture if I had to. So a big thing I always had said to him was I want my nails done for when we get engaged. But honestly I knew that was um, like not realistic because if it was going to be a surprise then like him making sure my nails are done would just give it away because I don't really do my nails often, I don't get them done often, so for them to be done would have just been unrealistic because like I just don't get them done often so if he was like hey you should get your nails done I would obviously know why so basically I had initially said that to him like oh I want my nails done when I get engaged I want my nails done blah 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 but I just knew that was unrealistic so I just told him I was like as long as my nails are long and have the potential to get done and they're not like short and stubby or something like that I'm fine with it as long as we get engaged and I can like file my nails, paint them, and take a picture, that'll be fine. And the only reason I cared about it so much is because I'm a little bit insecure about my hands. I don't really like them. They're just like, I don't know. It's something I've always been insecure about. So I said, well, if my nails can be done and I have a pretty ring on it, it won't be as bad. So I was like, okay, as long as they're long and I can paint them, basically. That's the moral of this story. Basically, that day, my right hand um, ring fingernail like broke so I was in the bathroom and I was filing it and I was like oh I'm so annoyed like this nail broke and he's like are you cutting your nails and he like cared about it so much he's like are you cutting your nails and I was like no I'm just I'm just filing this one nail down because it broke um, but the other ones are fine and he wasn't sure if like the nail that broke was the nail that 
was the finger that the ring would go on. So I was like, oh no, I'm not, I'm just filing this one down. And, and to him, he said, he was like, oh phew, she's not cutting all of her nails and they're gonna be short and stubby like she doesn't want for when she gets engaged or proposed to. So I just filed that one down. But then after we got engaged, I was like, wait, is that why you asked if I was cutting my nails? And he said, yes, he was worried that I was cutting all my nails down to, to nothing because sometimes I'll just cut them and trim them really short. And then sometimes I'll let them grow out long. And I really wanted them to be long when I got engaged. My camera just stopped, so I had to restart. But I think I was saying, yeah, basically I just wanted my nails a little bit long so they would have the potential to be filed and painted for when I needed to take a pretty picture with my ring on. Another thing was he he really was wanting us to keep our matching PJs on and I was getting hot in it and he was like, oh, let's just keep them on like just for a little bit. We can change like when we go to bed. And I was like, okay, and I just kind of let it go. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll just keep them on. I'm a little hot, but we just opened a window and it cooled down. But then he again said later on, that's why he wanted us to keep them on because he knew he was gonna propose and he wanted us in matching PJs because he knew how much I would love for us to be in matching PJs to get engaged, like that's, that's who I am. That's the cheesy side of me that I love is matching PJs, corny, cheesy stuff. He knows that's what I love. So he did a good job of making sure all of that stuff happened. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else he did. Oh, so this is the next point that I wanted to talk about was things I noticed like throughout time like the last few weeks or months that made me a little suspicious about if he was gonna propose we're super open with like our phones we don't care we don't hide anything we have nothing to hide so he'll let me hold his phone I can go on anything on his phone he does the same to me like if I'm like oh can I use your phone so I can search something real quick if mine's like in the other room or charging and it's like yeah just take it and but lately he had been being a little bit suspicious about it and he blamed it on Christmas presents. He he would say like, oh, I don't want you to see what Christmas presents I bought you. Um, I don't want to. I don't want you to see that. And which sounds like a valid reason, but we've never been like that. Like he, if we, the past years buying Christmas presents for each other, we would kind of know some of the gifts. So if we, it got spoiled, like it wasn't that big of a deal. He never really cared about it that much. Like the past years, he would let me use his phone at Christmas time and he wouldn't say anything like, oh, I don't want you to see Christmas gifts. But he kind of did that this year. And I picked on, I picked up on it a little bit. I was like, hmm. He's being a little suspicious about his phone, about Christmas gifts when he's never been like that in the past. And then one time he also like opened his bank app and I was just sitting next to him and he like quickly kind of turned to the side and I was like, hmm, did he buy something and doesn't want me to see or something like that. So that was another thing. But other than those two things of him being a little bit like sketchy about his phone and that one bank app situation, he did a really good job of like keeping it a secret and not being like super like suspicious about it or be like awkward or things like that. Um, but it's actually funny because a few days before we got engaged, uh, he was saying he had to go finish up Christmas shopping. And usually in the past other years, we would go together, even if like we're getting stuff for each other, we would just like get different carts. Like if we were going to Target, we'd each get a cart and then go into Target and then meet up afterwards. And this time, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go. And I was like, can I come with you? Like, I, I, I didn't have to get anything actually. I was just bored and wanted to go with him. And he was like, no, like I'm going to like some stores. And if you see the stores, like, you, like I just don't want you to see where I'm going. And I was like, please, like, can I come? And he was very like, no, you can't come. Like, I, I don't want it to spoil any gifts. And come to find out the reason he didn't want me to come is because he was going to ask my parents. That's the reason and it had nothing to do with Christmas gifts. He said, that he was going to ask them and didn't obviously, I couldn't go because I would have known, but that was another thing. But I didn't realize it at the time. Like I thought like, oh, he might be going to like a specific store. And if I see that store, I'm gonna know what he, he got me or something. So I was like, okay, like that just went right over my head, but he was actually going to ask my parents and that's why he didn't want me to go with him. I think that might be everything, all the things I wanted to talk about. So yeah, I think that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my proposal story. I'm super, super, super excited to finally be engaged. I can't believe it. Um, I still feel like sometimes I'm like, wait, I'm engaged, wait. And I'll wake up be like, wait a second, I'm engaged. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below and click the bell for more videos every week.